All right, guys, so I'm getting to work on the Jado. So the way to get the, tra the rear end off, you move the air filter. I unscrewed the servo horn right here with the throttle and brake. Um, pop it off from here, the linkage. Take one screw off from down here. Take the side guard out and then remove the bottom screws. So I'm about to take these two here out and then it should pop right out. All right, so I just remove these two screws right here and then it's about to come apart. So, let's see, collapsed and then pretty much kind of work it out of that spot right here. And then you should be good to go, just like that, boom. So now I have the rear end separated from the front. It's a little dirty, I didn't clean it from the run today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into the transmission and I did happen to have another two speed now I'm think I'm pretty sure that's what it is but I could be wrong but we'll get in there and we'll see guys all right so looks like a lot but it's really not that bad so I got the pretty much the rear end out of there um but it's good diff is good so if you look here this plastic piece here came out of there and on the inside I see some plastic but if you look in there Definitely looks a little chewed up, guys. I'm pretty sure that gear is messed up. So that's what we're going to be replacing up in there. And I think that's the gear that I have, but we'll see, guys. So let me get in there and hopefully I have the part for it. All right, so got the transmission out. So you see there's a piece right here. This right here is the two-speed, this bigger gear right here. See right there, guys, it is cracked. Cracked. So this silver part here has, um, see right here? That's where, I shot points. Uh, it's gonna be hard. But that part there, the little metal black part, once the speed, once you're going, the centrifugal force, it come, it, you know, it spins out or, you know, it comes out and it grabs onto the pin here and it kicks in the second speed. So basically that's why it's, so it's broken and it will not shift anymore. So I have a new one up here. I'm going to change it with. Because said this gear here got a little bit chewed up. So I may have a spare one sitting around. So I'm going to look real quick. But I'm going to go ahead and put a new gear and put it back in. We should be ready to rock and roll with two speed again. We'll clean out inside the transmission case. And go from okay, there. guys. So I didn't really call a whole lot of it going back in. I'm trying to get this video done. Had a bit of a time crunch, so you can tell it rolls pretty smooth now. The brakes is adjusted, so the brakes do work. So let's go out, test real quick. Let's do a quick two minutes to see a shift, and then um, take it back out another day and run it. I also have to run uh, another Jado. This guy right here. See has dust on it. Also haven't ran this in a while. This is my nephew's Jado. Uh, we're coming up on. His anniversary of him um, transitioning onto the next to next life, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out there and run this. Just, just uh, you know, something to just kind of sit back and reflect on the time we had with him. Great memories. Got my TC3 over here, guys. Um, may run that as well. Cause I need to get a one-way bearing for the pull start, but I could use a bump start to get it going. Then I got my Mugen MRX right here, guys. So, might get out and run it. Got some stuff to sit on top of it right now. Um, might get out and run it, but probably not. But hopefully one day I'll just give it a little, just get it, you know, cranked up and warmed up, do a couple little passes with it. All right, so look, let's get out there and run this jet real quick. 